Dmitry Shostakovich's 13th symphony, known as Babi Yar, is probably the greatest work of public dissent ever composed. Composed in 1962, during a brief period when Nikita Khrushchev was allowing more uh, public dialogue about public issues in the Soviet Union, uh, this piece actually helped close that down because the response from the public to the kind of material that Shostakovich and the poet Yevgeny Yevtushenko, whose words are set in the symphony, the ki kind of response that got from the Soviet public was just explosive and became something that the authorities couldn't tolerate. Uh, this symphony is an intense hour-long experience, uh, ultimately in a strange way uplifting, but it really confronts what life was like in the Soviet Union from Stalinist times down through the 60s. The first movement sets a poem of Yevgeny Yevtushenko called Babi Yar. Babi Yar is the name of a notorious ravine outside of Kiev in the Ukraine. This is a site where the Nazis massacred 100,000 men, women, and children in a short period in 1941. They were not all Jews, but most of them were Jews. And Yevtushenko's poem is an outcry against anti-Semitism and about how anti-Semitism is part and parcel of life in the Soviet Union. It was a very courageous poem for Yevtushenko to, to write, and it was even more courageous probably for Shostakovich to decide to create a grand work out of it. Initially, all he planned to do was a vocal work on this poem, but ultimately he found three other uh, Yevtushenko poems that he wanted to set, very different poems. Yevtushenko himself couldn't understand how Shostakovich saw that they went together, but miraculously they did. And the poet provided yet a fifth poem to, to finish out this five movement symphony. Now, this piece was naturally extremely controversial. At its premiere, the authorities cleared the entire area around the concert hall. They didn't want any demonstrations. Um, artist after artist had canceled. Shostakovich had to keep asking new conductors, new soloists. At the last minute, the chorus itself tried to walk out on the performance because of all the threats they were receiving from the authorities. This was a time and a place where music mattered so much. Um, when, when there's repression of what you can talk about um, and when a composer really faces up to what's important in people's lives, it's an amazing moment for music, it, and it's almost hard to imagine that. Uh, here and now. Kurt Mazur is directing these performances. Maestro Mazur, of course, was the conductor of the Leipzig Gewandhaus in East Germany during the Soviet times and played a really important role in the transition from the East German government into unification, personally prevented violence from taking place. This is a man who truly understands what this music is about, what's at stake in this music. Uh, I expect a, a very powerful, very moving experience.